Hello guys and welcome back to iTechnology Reviews. So you got the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1, the N8010 tablet. And you got the Android 4.0.3 or you got the Jelly Bean Android 4.1.2. And your tablet is slow, it's not uh, working well, it's draining your battery. We have a solution for you that will increase your performance on your tablet but you got to remember we make these tutorials to help you guys and we considering all the things there is to help you and to make the products better you have to remember that some versions of android have bugs and we try to fix these problems but you have to do exactly like we said in uh, our tutorials and uh, one of most important things is to format your tablet your phone your device because um, installing a new system and converting the application it's like installing uh, drivers from windows 7 to windows 8 it will conflict it will give you bugs so when you go to the secret menu and you will uh, format the partition and the catch you will have a fresh system so then you can um, install the applications um, from Google Play Store or Samsung uh, application store. The latest upgrade till now is 4.4.2 in KitKat. It's the most stable Android there is on the market. I don't know, some people will say uh, the most stable Android is 5.1, the Lollipop Android. But I don't think N8010 will get there. I don't think even Lollipop 5.0 will get it. But till then we have to manage with 4.4.2 because it's amazing Android and we will present this uh, Android on this tablet and how to install it. The first step you have to do to install is this is the simple uh, thing are two ways. This easy way is about device and update now you check update in uh, you if you have problems on this step uh, follow us on uh, the next step uh, if you have problems if you modified your tablet it says the operating system on your device has been modified i installed super su this is rooted and uh, now it gives me this message to avoid this message and to update the tablet you have to uh, eject your uh, card your micro SD card and after you eject the micro SD just disable super SU and then restart your tablet it will work it will work to update okay checking for updates uh, yeah you see it gives me back this message I already have the KitKat uh, Android, so I'm go I'm not going to install it again. But I will show you the paces to follow just to install uh, this operating system. The second step to update your N8010 tablet is to go and type on the browser net for sammobile.com. I hope can see it so sammobile.com here are the official firmwares for uh, everything you want send so, you got to type n8010 you see galaxy note 10.1 gt n8010 click it search for the firmware it's very simple and you got to put your country okay united kingdom for example and here you are here you have 4.4.2 so you could now you can uh, select the firmware and you have to make an account make an account on this side <coughs> sorry and you could regular download your firmware now you have to use odin software so odin software it helps you the downloaded firmware to install on the tablet download the odin software 
I already have. I already have the version 3.07. Um, regular download it. I don't know if I'm logged in. After you download and open the Odin software, shut down your tablet, hold the power key power off, and then you have to hold on. Okay, it's completely shut down. You have to hold on the minus volume key and the power key. And now it's open in download mode. Hold on, hold on it. Let's see, okay. It says a custom your OS can cause critical problems. Click on volume, it won't cause you any problems. It will install you the software the Android uh, KitKat system. Volume up to continue. So now it's in downloading mode. Now you can, let me show you on the monitor. Okay. Now you can select, let's focalize. You can select your downloaded firmware from, uh, I showed you from uh, Samsung mobile. So Put it anywhere in your computer, select it. Okay, select it. And now you have to wait. It says, please wait. Let me zoom it a little bit. Please wait. I don't know why Odin uh, put me on two comms. You have to have only one, only one com. Uh, the Odin sees my tablet in one com. Okay, so now it's finished successfully adding just the PDA. You have to add just the TAR. So for this demonstration, I put it on uh, other firmware just to show you how to do this. I will not flash my, uh, my tablet. This firmware is from my uh, Galaxy Note 3 firmware. So I'm gonna show you it's exactly the same. You, you can do to all kinds of phones this operation to write a new firmware. So now you can click it start. I will not click it because I will damage my, because it's another, uh, I told you it's another firmware. You can click it start and here will um, be a green bar filling up. When it fills up, it will uh, install your system. After you install it, Okay, let's go back on the tablet. After you install the Android, you have to power it off. Hold the volume up key. Oh, let me focalize on this. You have to hold volume up key and the power key. And now it will boot up into the recovery menu. So if you can't get in into the recovery menu by uh, pressing the volume up key and the power key and holding them, uh, take the cable out, the data cable, and then try again. This is the recovery menu and you have to wipe data factory reset. You could do this by minus the volume uh, key, the volume key, you see, minus down, up, plus the volume key and you have to wipe data factory reset. I'm not going to do this because I told you uh, before I installed, uh, I already installed 4.4.2. After you did the wipe data factory reset, you could do a wipe catch partition to be sure. And then reboot system now. After this, you have a clean 4.4.2 um, Android system. It's 30% better than 4.1.2. While it's loading, I have to tell you guys, please do not forget uh, to make your backup with Samsung KS or Samsung Switch. So this is the KitKat Android, it's very fast for the quad core 1.4 GHz. You have extra settings, you, have, you could customize your widgets in, in the taskbar. The smart stay function is very good for helping you to read and um, prevents from the screen from dimming or shutting down. What I saw interesting in the KitKat is the performance of this operation system. 
it's very very fast and it has um, a few application in plus from the jelly bean uh, android it supports screen mirroring um, it has a patch for screen mirroring if you have problems you could install that patch um, if it's uh, working and you, you will use screen mirroring okay so let me show you a little bit in the menu just to see it uh, in this new KitKat This is the tutorial of installing Android 4.4.2 and gaining 30% um, performance on your uh, N8010 Galaxy Samsung Galaxy tablet. Hope uh, we helped you with this tutorial guys. If you have questions or problems, please comment below and we will help you. We are iTechnology Reviews. Hope you like this tutorial. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos and uh, tutorials and reviews. See you guys. Bye.